Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. We're at my live active blog, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. And before we get started with today's lesson, I would like to just suggest that you go over here uh, to my blog and just sign up uh, for my email list. Put your first name and your best email address in there so that you will receive these videos, video tutorials, directly into your email inbox as soon as I create them. Okay, let's get started with today's lesson. I'm going to click here. This is just a demonstration site, and it says something under there about Thesis 2.03 and whatever. This We're not using Thesis for this demonstration. We're using WordPress version 3.5, and we're using the default WordPress theme 2011. Okay? Um, like I said, it's a dummy site, a demonstration site, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so when I click on the home page, right here you see we've got posts all the posts are on the home page and all the posts are called the blog loop and the blog loop is on the home page and every time I create you know post number six seven whatever the latest and greatest blog post it is it's going to end up on the home page at the top but I don't want the blog posts to be on the home page for whatever reason I want the sliders page and the reason for that is I just want to have a static page and I want this text or some English text. I'm going to put a slider in here. And every time someone clicks on the home page, this is what I want to show up, not the blog loop. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's really very, very simple and very easy. So I'm going to click in this tab in my browser, and that's class five. That brings me to the dashboard of that demonstration site. The first thing we're going to do, let's go to settings and go to reading. Very simple. Now, by default, it says the front page displays. By default, it displays your latest and greatest blog posts. We're going to change that so it says a static page. So on my front page, I just said I want the sliders page. You could have chosen any static page, uh, but that's the one I'm choosing. The posts page is obviously, in this case, going to be the blog page, and that's it. Just click Save Changes. If you're looking over here, I click on discovered search engines because it's a demonstration site, but you're not going to mess around with that. Okay, so let's just save the changes. And we're half done. So let's go back to the demonstration site. I'm just going to click about just to get us off that home page and then go back to the home page. And you can see when I click on the home page, it brings me to sliders. So you can get to the sliders page by clicking on the home page or clicking on the sliders page. I'll do that right now. And it just brings you back to the same page. That's a little redundant. Plus, we don't, we no longer have a link to the blog loop, okay, or the blog page. So let's fix that right now, and then we're done. Really, very simple. Okay, back to the dashboard. Let's go to appearance menus. First thing we're going to do is uh, remove the sliders. Just remove whatever static page is redundant. Then down here where it says pages, I like to just click on view all so I get a list of all the pages. Click on whatever your, the name of your blog page is. Click add to menu. It gets added to the bottom. I'm going to drag it up one because I like to have the contact page, the last one. That's kind of the convention. Save the menu. back to the demonstration site. Once again, I'm just going to click on another page first of all. So we're going to go to services, and that's the services page, back to the home page. So it still brings us to the sliders page, obviously. Um, and you can just click a button uh, later on to get rid of the comments on a static page if you want in the dashboard. And let's click here for the blog page. And that's it. So the blog loop, as you can see, is now not on the home page, it's on the blog page, and the home page is a static page, which in this case is the sliders page. So, hope you found this helpful. If you liked it, please click on the like button. Please leave your comments, share with friends, family, and loved ones on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Take care and have a great day. Thank you so much.